Hello everyone, this is Tough Hunter here. I'm gonna show you what was actually just recently requested. Chart Sniper gameplay with Chart Sniper counters and counters to the counter gameplay. That's right. Someone jokingly said all three in one sentence and I found a single replay to cover them all. Uh, here we have Ragul facing off against Rainer. Ragul uh, from Big Easy is known for being turret level 11 to 12 and taking down people who are turret level 13 to 14 on a very regular basis. So Rainer has a little 15 chart sniper. He loves to lead it off with some turret protection right there. From that spot, it can't see the gunner though due to line of sight. However, it is protected slightly more from the turret. Uh, the ghost does come in to take him out, but Rainer expected it. Put the mine down. Was actually able to save the ghost, but forcing Rainer to actually use the missile to finish off the chart sniper. A very interesting choice. Missile takes out about half the chart sniper's HP, but uh. If you look at the damage on it, it's quite useful at one hit KOing a few things. Ragul did play his own chart sniper. He put it in a very forward position on B. Uh, this allows him to actually shoot back to the other chart sniper position, uh, even hit the medium turret, and also just simply cover things as they go towards C. This time the ghost however was able to sneak up there as Rainer is quite low on supply. And this allows Ragul to have a 3 supply advantage now, and he has all three hard points. Unfortunately, what tends to happen is your units turret suicide, and with the gunner being at such low HP, there wasn't much point of really trying to do any run shield action, just kill the medium turret. As you can see with a first Titan of Reserve Strider, he's not going for turret kills. So, once again, a little more units unfortunately lost. Those drones just ran into that arc bruiser and to save it you would have had to spend 5 plus supply and it really wouldn't have been worth it. They might have died anyway. Reserve Strider drops in to kill the chart sniper but unfortunately it gets distracted by the strider. Uh, if you haven't noticed, Ragul did replay his chart sniper but he has it way in the back. It's actually up there on the boxes between the medium turret and A. In that position, however, it is able to shoot into the B alley. This time the ghost did make it to the charge sniper, and Rainer did try to respond with drone distraction, but he was too slow. The ghost targeted the charge sniper and was able to finish it off. No matter, charge sniper gets replayed, but ghost is coming again. This time, however, we're going to see a nice sentry that just bumps the ghost. And there we go. Perfect defense there, perfect timing. Even if it was done early, it would have been great because the the ghost would have targeted the sentry, but in this case, perfect timing, bump the ghost, remove the stealth, and now he has charge sniper defense. However, at this point, Ragul's charge sniper is going a little nuts. Uh, he does try to drone to distract it, and then he drops in the ion. Combined, it is enough to take down the sentry and charge sniper. Uh, he does drone in response to the first seem curious. Oh, but then the sentry placement distraction keeps the charge sniper alive and the drones and the ion dies. Well played by Rainer. Unfortunately, the score is at 91.40. Ragul does once again missile to finish off that charge sniper as he did play a smoke strider in there and he wants to get rid of that support. He's gonna send gunner to B and try to take it back as it's gonna easily fight off a half HP pyro. And he does manage to run C just in time to stop that arc bruiser from capping. There you have it, folks. Right there, all in one replay. Ways to use the charge sniper, defend against it, and beat the things that are coming to destroy it. And please let me know for the suggestions of what you want to see. Uh, coming up, I do have that promised gameplay of Reaper requested by Ozzy. I'm going to try to showcase how Reaper can be actually a useful card, even still at 5 cost. Uh, there's a few little tricks and tips to Reaper that uh, things like even Ninja can't do. So I'll be excited to show you that after the guild objective this week. Have a good one, guys.